Hello, everyone. My name is Sorin Sigan from Colombo Vet. And today we have our special guest, guests, Sara Diaz and uh, Pedro. And uh, together, we hope we will find uh, very useful things for fanciers. Uh, for, for the beginning, please present yourself, do a short presentation. OK. Hi, uh, my name is Sara. I'm a veterinarian from 2015. Um, my first client is my husband now, <laughs> and, and uh, since there we we are learning together uh, in this sport, and um, I think uh, that it's always uh, a good team. <laughs> Um, I work with the racing pigeons uh, since uh, that year and uh, with a lot of champions in Portugal. Um, we, we start with, um, with uh, this project, this project um, together, together three years ago, four, three, three four. four years ago, and um, that's our life now. <laughs> Yes, it's a lifestyle um, pigeon. Yes. Pigeon. No, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I uh, know. Uh, my, fancer, my, fancer, my, my father was a fencer, is a fencer too. Uh, father's Pedro is a fencer, was a fencer too. So we start uh, since little while uh, with six, eight years old, um, working and uh, playing with pigeons. And when have you started to? be Colmovet partners from Portugal. Do you remember? Um, three years ago, I think. Three, four, three years no, ago. No, three years ago. Three. The last three years. Yes. And you also started with uh, Chess Pharma. That is your uh, first love when you're talking about Colmovet. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us? Just, Sorry? We work uh, just with the uh, Chess Pharma product. Okay, very good. Can you tell us uh, what categories do you approach? From uh, short distance, middle distance, long distance, you know? All categories. Short, middle, and uh, long distance. Yeah, we race the three. Um, oh, the other likes more the short and middle, yeah. but uh, we race everything. And we have the champion of all round. Uh, we have... Uh, 18 races. Six uh, of each uh, category. Yeah. Short, middle, and long distance. Six, six, um, six. And yeah. what's the, the longest total. distance for you, uh, your approach? Uh, 800 yeah. kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Long, so long it's, yes. uh, all the races are one day race. Yes. If it's yeah. not a disaster, yeah. the, the birds should arrive yes. Yeah. in the same Sometimes day. happens two days. But it's not usual. Um, One, two times per year. Yes, not in maximum. maximum. And when does the competition start in Portugal? What date? We are hope uh, uh, normally start in February, but in this year, uh, because of uh, COVID, yeah. uh, we we think that we'll start in beginning of March. We are preparing to for this. Yes, here in Romania, usually now people are uh, preparing the birds for uh, breeding. So yes. uh, I think you already have young birds. In the, the weather is uh, a little different. Yeah, very, here. very different. Uh, yeah. Now here but, but, minus but 10 in, degrees. Yes, but in this time we have uh, uh, too much raining and, and we compete in the same. Plus the mouse is. We start with the raining and we finish with uh, a lot of hot. Oh, yes. yes. And humidity yes. also. Yes. Right? yes. And what <clears throat> do you do to prepare your uh, racing pigeon in this period? What is the program, the complete preparation program, the medicine you administer, all of this? Normally, uh, yes. I, I use um, three. <clears throat> Four medicines, different medicines of Chess Pharma. The uh, Festamicin, um, warm tabs, warm tabs, yeah, with parasites. 
uh, yeah. normally uh, warm tubs uh, and the power protect together. Yeah. In the same. So the same, that uh, you you think it's uh, very efficient for internal and external yeah. ones. Um, and after two weeks, we give amber anil. Yeah. Or the inverse. Okay. The uh, amber anil is a very very effective product. All right. Very much. Uh, respiratory <clears throat> one month before the, um, the start. So the, the first uh, the first race issue. One month normally. Yeah, so, and uh, um, I use uh, usually uh, honey does all with the um, first time eating. It's very effective. The pigeons um, grow. Yeah, grow with the treatment. Yeah. Normally, and, I use uh, uh, honey does all and first time eating. And um, uh, I prefer I prefer first time eating in the food. With the oregano okay. uh, and uh, running us all in the water, but uh, uh, both uh, at the same time, you know. Okay. Uh, and uh, you do all these treatments uh, before you go to the lab with uh, the droppings and other uh, analysis. You do Sorry, analysis no. in the lab, right? Before. Yes, in my, <laughs> in my lab. <laughs> yes. Yeah, in your lab, of course. <laughs> So yeah. if uh, everyone could do the same, you think it's very important to, for every friendster to do the analysis before they decide yeah. uh, what medicine to... It's important, it's important because... Uh, of, of course, if, if the friendster can do the, the exam, um, we can plan a strategy uh, uh, for each one uh, because sometimes you have a problem in the moment and uh, we we are thinking to to do three four treatments, but if the the fencer has another problem, we will start with with the problem, of course. Yes. Um, but if we don't have this this uh, this army, this uh, this this kind of uh, uh, exams, yeah. we can yeah. we always we always. Um, Suggest uh, two treatments uh, for worms uh, with two two weeks um, separate yeah, between yeah. two weeks. One with worm tab, another with ambronil. With ambronil, we can treat always. Uh, we can treat uh, two trichomonas and coccidiosis. So um, we uh, we have um, we have time to to do to do after two weeks. Cestamicin with the run is as well. Yes. You understand? Yes, of course. Here in Romania, most of the fencers prepare their pigeons for breeding. And uh, if you can tell us uh, what uh, they shouldn't do so it won't affect the fertility of the birds. Because uh, mm -hmm. one of uh, my clients told me he used the uh, antiparasites medicine and after two days, uh, he led them together to breed, and almost all the eggs were not, was, uh, were not fertile. So, uh, do you think that affected? But but each one worm tab. Uh, no, I don't what, know. What uh, because if you give uh, para protect with uh, one two weeks uh, before, won't be a problem. Worm tab. Uh, in inside the the, the breathing mm -hmm. it's not be, recommended be. but ambranil ambranil it's not a problem so yeah, you ask is, us, uh, sufficient dose for uh, antiparasites also yes yes internal yes Just internal you can you can do it uh, when they are inside the, the eggs after put the eggs you can use it Without yes, problems. without problems, but not uh, before. We, we this year, the, the last uh, summer, we always suggest that the fanciers do one month uh, ambranil, the other three couples uh, for control trichomonas, coccidiosis, and worms. 
and uh, we don't have problems with the eggs. Yes. And in Portugal, normally we start in June and we we finish in September. So three three months, three four months um, with a breathing season and without problems with eggs if we treat like this. Okay. And it's important to uh, treat with um, ersamicin <clears throat> before. So before the before the before the the, the breathing. Yes, so you uh, do at least two, two three weeks. Months. Yes, three two three weeks before. Okay. Three. Yes, because some mela it's a, a big problem in the in the breathing loft. Now, what's the method of of your uh, pigeons? You you use natural method or widowhood? Uh, widow hood? Widowhood, widowhood. Yes, and you always. compete both sexes or just hands no, or uh, just just, just hands. Okay. The last years just hands. It's more easy to, to work. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, we don't need this. <laughs> it's, it's a question of uh, time. time. So less time for this. It, it yeah. takes less time. Yes. Yeah. We have uh, the long distance race here, marathon, which mm -hmm. takes like two or very, even three days for pigeons to come back home. Do you think that's uh, very different from uh, you? What do you have there? How do you think uh, you should prepare the pigeons for those? Uh, more distance, more difficult, more, you need more energy. So yeah. some products. Uh, they need more everything. Yeah. Yeah. So important. first the recovery, then Detoxify. Yes. Yes, of course. Can you uh, tell us how you do that in your loft? Uh, uh, the recovery uh, and recovery. detoxify before starting to prepare for the next. Uh, I like too much uh, protein food. Protein food. Okay. By power in the first um, meal. Meal is uh, very good. Also. Okay. Uh, pigeons. Uh, protein plus. It's very important. With and after active. depending on uh, the length of the race the distance yeah. and the, the difficulty you mm -hmm. normally right. normally i use uh, three um in the, in the first day in the, in the night and uh, the second day um to to, to milk no? yes do you know Yes, of course. So, so uh, after that, yes. those days, you start to detoxify them. Please uh, yes. describe the, the yes. method yes. so we can find out. So with the detox and, and mood, uh, it's a mm. good combination. Set you up like up. it too much. Set up, too much. Set up only uh, in the food or in the water. Uh, in the food works very well. Yeah, we got uh, very good feedback for yeah. these two products together. They are uh, yeah. tested now and they are very good. After that, those days of detoxifying your pigeons, you start uh, preparing for the next race. Yeah. Yes. Another, uh, how do you do that? Top form with uh, energy in, in the, the water. water. Um, also vitamin. I like too much, two times a week. Uh, the last uh, two days before breakfast. Vitamin in the morning and top form energy in the afternoon. Two times uh, fly power with uh, oregano in the food. Okay, if, works very well. If the race is more difficult, we can give more one or two meals of fly power. Yes, and uh, chef salt in the food or, or water. Depends. And uh, you administer right. this uh, in the basketing day? If you basket uh, the pigeons yes, in, in the, the morning, evening, in the morning, in the morning you yeah, they receive. In the in the water, sometimes in the food, it's good. Okay. Uh, For hydration, uh, mainly in the when the the race is 
are in the summer. It's very important. Yeah. And you yeah. have a lot of race in the summer. Yeah, also, the we also have. Yeah. And uh, how about trainings with your <clears throat> personal car? You do those trainings or? I don't, uh, I don't like to. Some people um, like, but um, I don't. Uh, it's a little stressful for pigeons if we do it um, because do it. every week they, they train with, with the other pigeons uh, or go to a race or go to a training in the club. So more trainings in, the, in our car will be a lot of stress during the week. And stress, it, it's always... Um, a factor that uh, decreases the immunity of the pigeons. I don't have a good experience with, 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 with uh, I don't. Do you prefer keeping them healthy and home? Yes. 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 And uh, uh, if they're healthy, they like do the at home. I like to see pigeons growing up through, throughout the, the, the week, day by day. And um, uh, with, uh, with trains uh, during the week, um, I think conditions, the condition of the pigeons is not uh, so good. Drops uh, in, in bad condition, I think, I don't like. So you, you try to spend uh, as more time as you can in the loft and study the pigeons, the condition. Yes. 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 Okay. It's important. So in summary, uh, in a little, uh, what we always do, uh, the plan for the week is first time of the week recovery, the second time disintoxication and everything like biotics, hopabiliquid, oxypus, and sedapus, trico, uh, all, all these products all products to use in the middle of the week and in the end of the week we prepare for the race top form energy fly power vitamin cestasol oh, well, <laughs> yes yes okay thank you very much guys thank, thank you. you bye sarah bye, bye. 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 bye.